Greetings, everyone. It is my great pleasure to be talking to you today from London, capital city of our home market, and just over an hour to the north of the home of Rolls Royce at Goodwood in West Sussex. Today is the most significant day in the history of Rolls Royce motor cars since May the 4th, 1904. On that date, our founding fathers, Charles Rolls and Sir Henry Royce, first met and agreed that they were going to create the best motor car in the world. These two pioneers elevated those early internal combustion engine cars from noisy, uncomfortable and rudimentary means of transportation by setting a completely new benchmark of distinction. The cars they created introduced the world to a true luxury experience and secured for Rolls-Royce the ultimate pinnacle position that it continues to occupy unchallenged to this day. The mark has continued to define the very best in internal combustion motoring for more than a century. Today, 117 years later, I am proud to announce that Rolls-Royce is introducing its first all-electric car. This car will elevate the global all-electric car revolution and create the first and finest super luxury product of its type. And this is not a prototype. It's the real thing. It will be tested in plain sight and our clients will take first deliveries of the car in the fourth quarter of 2023. The use of electric motors is not a new concept for Rolls-Royce. Sir Henry Royce was deeply interested in all things electrified. His first venture, named F.H. Royce and Company, created dynamos, electric cranes, and patented the bayonet-style light bulb fitting. But it was Charles Rolls who truly prophesied an electric future for automobiles. In April 1900, he experienced an early electric motor car named the Columbia and declared its electric drive to be ideal. The electric car is perfectly noiseless and clean. There's no smell or vibration and they should become very useful when fixed charging stations can be arranged. But for now, I do not anticipate that they will be very serviceable, at least for many years to come. Charles Rolls's prophecy has been the subject of constant consideration during the Marx Goodwood era. But we have not been satisfied that the technology could support the Rolls-Royce experience until now. Now is the time to change the course of the future of luxury. We embark on creating this bold new future with a huge advantage. Electric drive is perfectly suited to Rolls-Royce motor cars, more so than any other automotive brand. It is quiet, refined, and creates all its talk almost instantly, going on to generate tremendous power. It's what we at Rolls-Royce call waftability. At Rolls-Royce, we have been experimenting with an electric powertrain for some time. In 2011, we revealed 102X, a fully operational all-electric Phantom. We followed this in 2016 with our fully electric 103AX, which represented our vision for the mark several decades into the future. And these extraordinary cars prompted a huge amount of interest in electric powertrain technology amongst our clients. They considered it as the perfect fit for Rolls-Royce. And over the past decade, I have been repeatedly asked, when will Rolls-Royce go electric? And when will you produce your first electric car? I answered with an ambiguous promise. I said Rolls-Royce will go electric starting this decade. We are making very good progress. I said we will go electric this decade and that will happen, promised. 
and uh, we will also electrify the brand completely, step by step. And today, I keep my word. And so, where has Charles Rolls's prophecy and my promise led us? Rolls-Royce has embarked on an historic and unique undertaking, which today becomes a reality. Our designers and engineers have worked relentlessly to bring us to this seminal moment, a landmark undertaking. We are now ready to commence road testing the first all-electric Rolls-Royce in history. And this fundamental change in our powertrain technology requires that we challenge every single aspect of the product. We will cover 2.5 million kilometers, a simulation of more than 400 years of use for the Rolls-Royce on average. And we will travel to all four corners of the world to push this new motor car to the limit. And you will see these test cars on roads around the world. Look out for them. They will be in plain sight. They will be tested in all conditions and over all terrains on their multi-million kilometer journey. One that will quite literally accelerate Rolls-Royce into the future. And so, the time has come. The historic moment I referred to a moment ago is upon us. Rolls-Royce's electric future begins here and now. This Rolls-Royce is the fulfillment of a prophecy. And in that spirit, we have decided on a completely new name for this car. A name that is as powerful and evocative as the nameplates that have served us so perfectly for the past century. Names like Phantom, Ghost and Wraith. It's a name that fits perfectly within the ethereal and otherworldly environment within which our extraordinary products exist. And a name that we have reserved especially for this moment. We will name this phenomenal car Rolls-Royce Spectre. With Spectre, we set out our credentials for the full electrification of our entire product portfolio by 2030. By then, Rolls-Royce will no longer be in the business of producing or selling any internal combustion engine products. Spectre is the living fulfillment of Charles Rolls' prophecy. And my promise, made on behalf of Rolls-Royce motor cars, is kept. I am proud that we will continue to propel the world's most progressive and influential woman and man into a brilliant, electrified future. Thank you for joining me on this significant and historic day.